Hello, Bettina from Germany. Hello, Khan. Nice to meet you all here. So hello and welcome to this Activate Your Flow of Abundance workshop. I'm Francisca Siragusa, author, ascension leader and principal teacher with the Diana Cooper School of White Light. And Wesley Oliver is presenting this workshop with me. He is a good friend and also a teacher with the Diana Cooper School of White Light. Hello, Wesley. Um, thank Hi, you so Francisco. much. <laughs> thank you so much for taking over from Melinda, who couldn't do, who couldn't make this rescheduled session because she's traveling. So yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad to be you. here. Normally, I'm behind the scenes. So um, yes. yes, but it's, it's but good to be here and presenting with you today. Usually, you're here for technical assistance, <laughs> but it's very nice to present with you. So would you do an opening for us to just ground us and protect and attune us so we are ready for the work we're going to do? Sure. All yeah. right. <laughs> so if everyone would like to sit comfortably and uh, close their eyes, if they would like to, and just take a few deep breaths in and out. And really deep, deep breaths down down into your belly and just hold it there for a bit and let it out and with each breath in and out you release whatever concerns or worries you might have about the day ahead or the day past and we just start to create a space to honor this time to learn about abundance in your home and work with the beings of light that will be assisting you. So just take your focus to the bottom of your feet and in the center of your feet, feel or visualize big, strong, golden roots growing out from your feet all the way down from your feet, through all the layers of the earth, down, 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 as far as you can imagine them going, all the way into the center of Mother Earth. And in the center of Mother Earth, there's a big obsidian crystal, beautifully anchored in her heart, and just Allow your golden roots to wrap around that obsidian crystal, helping you to further anchor and ground yourself. And as you do so, you might feel the golden roots just get a little bit bigger. And take a moment to feel the love from Mother Earth as she gratefully joins you tonight to be part of bringing abundance and, a, and the awareness of abundance into your home. And become aware of, of how that energy and that love travels back up through your golden roots, back all the way up through the layers of the earth, through your feet, your knees, your hips, through your abdomen, the diaphragm and just pull it into your heart center and just really feel that love in your heart center and as you do so you'll feel your heart just open and expand and now you take your awareness up from your heart through your throat through your crown and through all the higher chakras, all the way to source, to the heart of source. And just feel the love and acceptance from source now, also joining you tonight in assisting you with abundance in your home. 
and become aware of this, this gentle light that flows down from source, gently down, down, down through your higher chakras. And you feel it touch your, your crown at the top of your head and gently make its way down into your heart center. And now in your heart center, you hold the love of source and mother earth. And this love and support of both the physical that mother earth supplies and the energetic that source supplies really open your heart even more. And now just gently take that energy down to below your feet. And if you can, imagine swirling that energy up around you in a beautiful spiral. So eventually you in a in a cocoon, the spiral goes up around you all the way to above your crown. And we ask Archangel Michael to step in now. We can feel or sense his presence. And we ask him to place a beautiful blue cloak of protection over your shoulders. It's very light in weight and it's got a beautiful electric blue color. And he zips the cloak up from below your feet to just below your chin and places a hood over your head. And now we invoke all the beings of abundance who will be working with us now. And in particular, the angel of your home and the water and air dragons and any other beings of light that will that choose to work with us now. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you, Wesley. So Wesley invoked the angel of the home. And when we do the visualization for this workshop, we're gonna be connecting with the angel of your home. And every home has an angel. So you will definitely be able to connect with the angel of your home. I just wanted to say that. And now I'm gonna explain to you the Bagua map. So the Bagua is an energetic map and it's a wonderful tool to create a harmonious environment in your home. So I'm going to show it to you on the screen. So I'm just going to share the screen. <clears throat> so this is it. This is a uniquely created Bagua map. So I've created this with the help of my wonderful illustrator. And the area we are going to, going to be looking at is number four so it's this green area which is um, titled shun shun area and that symbolizes wind and i've called it open up to abundance and so i'd like you to imagine where in your home that is so the number eight one and six so the bottom line should be where your main entrance is in the home. So your abundance area would be at the far back on the left, if that makes sense. I can also show you how I've imposed this, how, how I've superimposed this onto an actual floor plan. So if anyone is not clear and needs further explanation, you can say so in the chat. Do I have to stop the screen share to see the chat? No. 
No, you may, just need to. May I just check? So that would be opposite your front door, number four. Yeah. Is that, yeah. The front door would be at the bottom line and the yeah. abundance area would be at the back line. Perfect. Thank you. So on this particular map, the, the front doors at block one. Um, in my, in my, in my in home, instance. it's number one, but it could be where the eight is or it could be where the six is. Thank you. Just that's how you direct it. So this, this Bagua map, it can be applied to the whole floor plan, but it can also be applied to an individual room. So for example, I have also activated this area in my living room. So if, I, if I'm standing at the bottom line of my living room, so it would be at the far end on the left. And it could also be activated on your desk, for example. So the left hand back corner of your desk would also be the area associated with abundance. And I also want to tell you how this, how this map came into being. There's a lovely legend connected with it because this map is also called the magic square. And if you look at the numbers, if you add them up, so if you add them up horizontally or vertically and even diagonally, it will always add up to the number 15. So the story goes that in the year 650 BC in China, in China eh, there was a time of great floods and the river Lo flooded and inundated people's dwellings. So they rushed to pray and make offerings to the river God and uh, prayed that the water levels would go back down to normal. And then something magical happened. This turtle emerged from the river and she had this, um, this curious grid of nine squares on her shell. And within each square, there were dots adding up to numbers. So I can show you an image. <laughs> so again, this was created by my illustrator, which is, and this is why I've been using this to, to promote this workshop. But yeah, so that's where the story comes from. So it's called Magic Square, Law Shoe Square, or also Scroll of River. Low. Yeah, so now I'm going to take, we're going to take you on a visualization and um, like I said, in this visualization, we will be meeting you will be meeting the angel of your home and we're going to work to clear the area in your home which is associated with abundance so you should be clear now where that is and like i said you can literally activate it where it is but you can also activated in another room if you have a room a high frequency room in your home where you meditate or where you think it would be important to also activate it you can activate it also in square number four in that particular room and we are also going to activate the abundance codes in your aura and we're going to be working with the 12 chakras. So I'm just going to explain about the 12 chakras before we start, because not everyone may be familiar with the 12 chakras. So we have the earth star chakra below our feet, which is our connection with mother earth. And then in the fifth dimension, so this 12 chakra system is a fifth dimensional chakra system. 
the sacral chakra splits into two. So we have the sacral and the navel chakra. So the navel chakra is right where your navel is. And then above the crown, we have the causal chakra. In the fifth dimension, the causal chakra is above your crown. And then further up, we have the soul star chakra. I would say about 50 centimeters above your head. And then about one meter above your head, we have the stellar gateway chakra. And in the fifth dimension, the colors change. So if we want to activate our fifth dimensional chakras, we no longer visualize the third dimensional colors as that would hold us back. So I think that's all I need to say. So I think we can start with the visualization. Okay, so <coughs> just make yourselves comfortable and close your eyes. Just relax and take a few deep breaths. Take these breaths into your heart. And visualize yourself sitting in the abundance area of your home. If you're not there right now, just take yourself there with your consciousness, with your awareness. And with your awareness, you can actually be in two places. So just focus on the area where you want to activate the flow of your abundance. And once more, bring your attention to your roots and just feel deeply anchored into the earth. And also once more become aware of the beautiful electric blue protective cloak that you are wearing. And also become aware of your beautiful relationship with source and your connection with the higher realms. And now we're going to work with intention. Intention is very powerful. So set the intention to clear the abundance area in your home, to raise the energy and to increase the flow of abundance in your life. And this is all forms of abundance, can be financial abundance, can be an abundance of love, of joy, of peace. And we are now going to call the angel of your home. Just call to the angel of your home and ask him or her to show herself and get a feel of the energy. As the angel of your home enfolds you with her energy, you feel a sense of love and peace 
into your heart. And take time now to interact with your angel of the home and get a sense what she looks like. So you have a couple of minutes time to interact with your angel and get a sense of her energy and appearance. And now you are going to ask the angel of your home to drop her name into your mind now. Accept the name that you were given. And if you didn't get the name, I'm sure you will receive it in the next few days. So now that you are acquainted with the angel of your home, we can work with her. Ask the angel to help clear, to help you clear the abundance area in your home. Imagine the space becomes a small wood and a clear stream flows through it. You can hear the sound of flowing water and you're looking upon beautiful, magical trees with strong roots nurturing themselves with the water. The wind is blowing through the branches. As you breathe in, fresh air enters your lungs and the scent from the trees is invigorating. See a beautiful water dragon emerge from the stream and ask him to clear your abundance area with water and love. And as you look up into the air, 
you see an air dragon flying above the trees. Ask him to help you clear the area. See him blowing air to clear the area with the help of the wind. And then ask the angel of your home to fill this space with light. And then also add your own love to the area. Feel your heart overflowing with love, flooding the area. And now reflect for a moment whether there is anything else to be done in this area. Is it harmonious? Is it tidy? Should you remove something or should you add things? And you can talk about this with the dragons and also the angel of your home. You can ask them for advice. So you have a moment time for this. Take three deep breaths into your heart and feel the center expand. Tune into your heart and think about what kind of life you would like to lead in a year's time. You have a few minutes to spend time on this thought.
Now enter the stream. The clear water carries love and is a perfect temperature, refreshing and healing. Your friend, the water dragon, emerges from below and joins you. He emanates gold light and spreads love as he moves through the current. You take a moment to connect with him now. Set the intention to release any limitations so you can enjoy the abundance you deserve. Think for a moment what they may be. So you can just spend uh, a few moments thinking about what limitations you would like to, to release now. <clears throat> now you can ask the water dragon to use his loving energy to dissolve any limiting beliefs, patterns and thought forms in your energy fields so your aura can expand. The larger your aura is, the more abundance, universal abundance can flow into it. The dragon starts to work with your 12 chakras and he starts with the heart center. So he's now right in front of you <clears throat> breathing into your heart center. And the love that comes from the dragon is so powerful that you feel your heart center expand really wide. Love is the most powerful energy in the universe and it can clear anything, any lower vibrations that are just being dissolved with the dragon's breath. And you can help this process by visualizing your heart center, pure and clear, shimmering in pure white, fifth dimensional heart energy. There may be hints of pink and gold. Next, 
the dragon breathes into your solar plexus. Feel that breath coming into your golden fifth dimensional solar plexus. Increasing your power and your self-worth. Next, he breathes into your orange navel chakra. In this space, you know who you are, what your passions are. And you reach out to your community. And next he breathes into your delicate pink sacral chakra. And as this space clears, all your relationships become harmonious. And transcended love enters the sacral chakra. And next, the dragon breathes into your base chakra. In the fifth dimension, your base is a beautiful, bright platinum color. And in your fifth dimensional base chakra, you feel secure and you trust. And then the dragon breezes into the earth star chakra below your feet. Clearing it. Dissolving anything you no longer need. Strengthening your connection with Mother Earth. Grounding you deeply. This chakra holds your immense potential. Now the dragon moves up again and he breathes into your throat center. Visualize your throat center 
an electric blue color. And feel how the dragon breath is clearing it, expanding it. Allowing you to speak your truth and to show who you truly are. And then the dragon breathes into your third eye. See that as a crystal clear ball with an emerald glow. And the dragon with his loving breath is clearing your third eye. In this space, you can manifest all the abundance that you deserve. And then the dragon breathes into your crown. You can see that crystal clear with a golden glow. The dragon's love dissolves any lower frequencies from here, opening you up to the highest wisdom. Connecting you with the stars. And then the dragon breathes into your causal chakra above your head, visualize that in its fifth dimensional moonlight color, and as this is being cleared, you can easily communicate with higher beings, your guardian angel, the dragons, all the angels, archangels, masters, star beings. And then the dragon breathes into your soul star chakra about 50 centimeters above your head. And you can see that as a vibrant magenta color. This connects you with the light of your soul, it helps you to radiate your unique light to embody your soul and to share your gifts. And then the dragon breathes into your stellar gateway. See that as a golden color. about one meter above your head. This is your gateway to the sixth dimension and beyond. 
it holds your highest dimensional light connects you with your highest dimensional aspect and with source and it is shining in a beautiful golden color now and just see how your chakras now unify into a column that extends deep into the earth and high up into the heavens and the heart of source. The water dragon breathes love and light into your physical and etheric body. He breathes into your emotional and mental body to clear them. Feel your emotions and thoughts aligning with those of source. Your sentiments are joyful and your thoughts high frequency and noble. They are the thoughts of a master determined to move forward on his or her path. Next, the water dragon breathes into your spiritual bodies all the way up through the dimensions. See your aura sparking with high frequency light and colors and see it expand beyond your home, city, country, and galaxy. Suddenly, you feel yourself being lifted out of the water. And as you look down, you notice that you are on the back of a huge turtle. And her shell is illuminated with golden symbols. The water dragon chuckles as he sees the surprise on your face. The dragon explains that the symbols you are seeing on the turtle shell are abundance codes written in light language. And he asks you, do you want to receive these abundance keys and codes? And if you do, you nod your head and then you watch them flowing from the turtle's back into your energy fields. So they're flowing up from the turtle's shell and take the place in your aura. With the codes now in your aura, you see how your, ex your aura expands to the universe and how your chakras connect with the stars. Your aura is a vessel and container for the infinite abundance of the universe. And you see and feel it flowing into your fields from the heart of source. Take a deep breath and stand in your power on the turtle's back. Feel an increase in faith, 
trust, self-worth, self-love, deservingness, gratitude, and manifestation power as the keys and codes take up their rightful place in your aura. And once more, visualize the life that you want to lead in a year's time and invoke the aspect of yourself that is already living the life that you have imagined. See this aspect of yourself arrive and merge with it, become one and see with clarity how you are living your life in a year's time. You can literally watch that like a film and you have a moment time for this. And your heart is filling with gratitude now. Just really feel that gratitude for your new life. And then bring your attention once more to the water dragon. He is presenting you with a gift and his gift is a shimmering pearl which he is holding in his claw. So hold out your hand to accept the pearl from the dragon. This pearl symbolizes abundance and infinite opportunities, he tells you. It is yours now. Thank the turtle, dragons and source for what you have received. The turtle descends into the waters and you make your way to the shore of your stream where the angel of your home is waiting with a big smile on her face. She knows you have made a huge shift. If it resonates, you can now ask the angel of your home to anchor the flowing stream and trees at an etheric level in your space. You can give it a name too. Just let the name drop into your mind now. And we'll give that a few moments to let it sink.
Very slowly and gently, bring your consciousness back into your physical body. Feel the ground below your feet and see your magnificent roots anchoring you deeply into the earth. And when you are ready, open your eyes, knowing that you have access to the infinite abundance of the universe, always. You are a master manifester and can reach all your goals. So you can now drop into your chat box, any insights you have received, anything you'd like to share, for example, your angel's name. So you can write that. And um, I'm just gonna have a chat with Wesley. Wesley, would you like to share your experience with this visualization? Mm, that, that was wonderful. As soon as we started, the angel of our home appeared just over here. Uh, Latva is her name with golden hair and then um, like that emerald green um, kind of color wearing oh, wow. that. Um, but I, I have to say the, 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 the 12 track clearing that on its own was just amazing. I could sense the dragon working, making its way up, clearing everything and just opening and expanding. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that, that was wonderful. And the, the abundant space, it's quite interesting because now, you know, we're looking at everything in that corner on the balcony is where it would be. Um, and there's a, a tree and a pot there. And at the moment, a, um, a, a pigeon that is looking after two eggs. So I guess in its own way that that is abundance. And I put all my rose quartz in that corner when I moved in. So um, uh, it's apparently the name's going to be the pigeon hole or the dove corner for now. <laughs> but uh, yes. And, and how did you find it, Francisca? Yeah, my, my, so my angel is called Dora and everyone seems to perceive the angel of the home as a feminine presence. Everyone I have spoken with about this so far. So I don't know whether that was everyone's impression here as well. So she told me her name was Dora and her energy was golden, but her presence was very, very big. She felt very, very big. Very, very nice, gentle, gentle energy. I felt very much how supportive she was. And yeah, in my abundance corner, I have a lot of plants. So a sign of growth. And I've placed a citrine crystal there. A citrine is particularly good for abundance as well. And of course, I've got this stream. So I've anchored this etheric stream in my home some time ago. So I'm always aware of that. In my mind's eye, I can see the flow of this stream, which ensures that there is ever flowing abundance. In fact, I called it river of ever flowing abundance. <laughs> and yes. I also imagine that it flows into the ocean. So let's see in the chat box, is there any feedback? So Rona, female names. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, Rona says her name, her angel is called Aurora and she was pink. Shelly, her angel's name is Naya. That sounds feminine too. She has long white hair with white wings. It was such a beautiful river with huge oak trees on either side. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you very much. Khan, 
his angel called herself abundance. Paula, her angel is Johanna. Amina, that's okay. Right, Dove, I'm still recovering from COVID as well. <laughs> Sincere apologies, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can watch the replay. On Sunday, and he, I must have got it. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you can watch the replay. Thank you. <laughs> and Istvan, his angel is not sure how to pronounce that. Maile, Maile, female as well. And Bettina's angel is Mary Ann. That's very nice. <laughs> she wears a white robe and her wings are white and gold. She's beautiful and full of love. Thank you, Bettina, for sharing. <laughs> okay, so before we close, I just wanted to say that if any of you are interested in doing more of this kind of work, um, as you've seen the Bagua map, so obviously there are nine areas in the home, so I'm offering this also as a course where I work with people one to two usually, one to two, <laughs> um, on activating all the areas of the home. So the course is called Feng Shui with angels, unicorns and dragons. And the subtitle is Transform Your Life and Your Home in 12, sorry, in 10 weeks. So if anyone would like to receive further information just send me an email and i will send it to you <clears throat> oh, okay wesley you dropped the link you dropped the link thank you yes for doing that <laughs> okay. okay so we can stop the recording here if you like